It is 548 on Daybreak in this morning. Well, we are just a day away from our food to families food drive. It's happening tomorrow all to benefit Feed More Western New York, which does incredible work throughout yeah, our community. Absolutely. And this morning, Daybreak's Lauren Hall is live at Feed More's warehouse with more on the have to bring healthy options to places that need it. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Lisa. We are here inside the Feed More Western New York warehouse right now. And when we get ready for the food to families drive or really any food drive in Western New York, we're always talking about those canned goods and the non-perishable items. But Feed More is also in the fresh food game as well, thanks to their farm market trucks. We're here right now with public relations manager Kat Schick. And these trucks have been on the road for almost three years now. That's exactly right. And, you know, just like you said, Lauren, you see this non-perishable food around us in our warehouse today, but a lot of people don't realize we provide a lot of fresh produce out into the community as well. Our farm market is one of the programs that we're doing uh, just that, and we provide uh, fresh produce at really affordable prices. Um, so you can use SNAP, cash, credit. A lot of times we uh, accept various coupons as well, um, all to increase fresh fruit and veg vegetable access to our community members in need. It's just like going to any farmer's market, but it comes to you and they have stops all over the region all year round, even in the cold like it is right now. Exactly. <laughs> you know, this operates year round, as you said, and we do offer that in convenient locations. So whether it's an affordable housing complex, a, an area school or university, um, other areas where we know that people are gathering and oftentimes we try to focus on food deserts, places where it might be more difficult for people to get that fresh food access all local produce and a lot of it is actually grown or some of it is grown right here at Feed More as well. That's exactly right. We have a community garden that operates during the growing season, so like April into the fall, but we also have two hydroponic container farms where we are growing produce year round in that indoor hydroponic environment. So we're going to see one of those stops that they made just this week coming up next hour here on Daybreak and see what it's like to shop at this farm market. If you are interested in shopping yourself, you can find the full list. You can log on uh, to the Feed More website and find it at any time. Kat, anything else to add? We're just so grateful for the continued support of the community. Uh, events like Food to Families make all our programs and services possible. So we encourage everyone to come out tomorrow to support Food to Families on December 1st. Absolutely, Kat. Thank you so much. On your side in Buffalo this morning, Lauren. Hall, Channel 2 News Daybreak. All right. All right. Thanks, Lauren. Very good. And we are excited to be out there. Pete and Patrick and I will be 